Hello, my friends, and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Kingston, Idaho. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a card using the Pretty Pumpkin stamp set. We will be using this stamp, this one, this one, and if friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you. And this is the card I'm going to show you how to make today. The supplies that we're going to be using, we will be using a Mango Melody card base, two pieces of basic white and a piece of early espresso. We will also be using dies from the set. And let me get started and show you how to make the card. We are also going to be using Cajun Craze and early espresso ink. And then in the mini catalog, we have this beautiful um, embossing folder. It's actually on page 37 and it's called the Timber 3D Embossing Folder. Love this. So first we're going to do our stamping in our early espresso and we're going to stamp the cute little pumpkins. I love this set. It is so cute. So we're going to stamp this in the early espresso and then we're going to stamp the, the vines and then we're going to stamp the other vine and then we're going to use the dies and die cut these out. Aren't they just so pretty and I love how these stamp. So then you're going to take your dies and these line up perfectly on here like this. And then you're going to go and take them through your stamp cut and emboss machine, your Big Shot, whatever you happen to have. And all of these line up perfectly. So once you've cut them, and I have already pre-cut them, I did, um, I was playing with the Very Vanilla. So this is what they look like when they're pre-cut. Um, I ended up using the basic white, so I did like that look better. So this is how they look when you have die cut them and colored them. So I didn't want to bore you with having to watch me color. So we're going to take our, our card base and we're going to fold it in half. I can't do this on screen or on camera because, well, I will do this. Yes, I can. So we're going to just give this a nice crease and then we're going to layer our card. So when you take the timber embossing folder, you're going to take your piece of paper, you're going to just place it in here wherever you want it to be, and then you're going to run it through your, your embossing machine and you're going to end up with this wonderful piece. I hope you can see that on camera. So we're going to go ahead and layer our card. We're going to take this textured piece and put it on the early espresso. And I'm going to use my tape runner. And we're gonna put that on the early espresso. And all the sizes and dimensions will be in the link below. And then we're going to take this and put this piece on the Mango Melody. Just like this. So now that part is all done. This card is a very quick, easy card to make and it's an easy one to mass produce. Um, my recommendation would be do all your coloring and, and die cutting first and then this goes together super, super quick. So we're going to take this little die and we're going to take the little hello in Cajun Craze and we're going to stamp that just like that. Isn't that cute? And we are going to take some dimensionals. I'm going to have this piece be flat. So we're going to put this piece, move that out of the way. We're going to put this piece flat, so I'll just use my, and you can see that I have used my alcohol markers because they always bleed through. And I'm going to put this right up here and we're going to take these little pieces and pop them up with dimensionals. Let me 
me find my dimensionals real quick. Here they are. I'm just using these little minis. And you don't need a lot, maybe three on this one. So we're gonna take these, take the tabs off. Come on, little tab. It is so cold here this morning. We woke up to 26 degrees. So then we're gonna take this and place this right on here and having it popped up just gives it that nice extra cute look. Pop this one up as well. Put that right under here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take and pop this up with two little mini dimensionals and that will be the front of our card. Very simple, very cute, very simple. Okay, then for the inside of the card, I also stamped the inside, colored it, and then stamped the sentiment. So we're gonna take the sentiment and stamp it in the Cajun craze. I love this sentiment too, it's very cute. You grab my other paper here. We're gonna stamp that right here. And then we're going to take our other little stamp and we're going to ink it again in the Early Espresso. And we're gonna just stamp that right here. Just like that. And then you can color it and that is it, my friends, very simple. So you're gonna end up, like I said, with the colored version, and that's our card. I hope you will consider this one. Um, I did have a little gem that I put on here. I ran out, so with, without, it's up to you. I think it looks cute with it. And I did put some gems um, on the flower and between the pumpkin. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it does help give it an extra little sparkly look. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe, and click the bell if you wanna be notified of more videos. I have some really cute ones coming up with the cabin set. I am so in love with that set. And so until next time, go make something uniquely yours. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, bye.